No, I wouldn't even say that. <laughs> Yellow doesn't know I exist, but I, guess. I was no, off the stage next to Mango. Point. Me and Mango were hanging out. It's closer to real. Like the Mangus, right? Uh, so I was next to Mango. Not your friend Mango, but my the, friend the Mango. Mango. The, your, yeah, your friend Mango. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cloud Nine. My neighbor Totoro. My neighbor Mango. And uh, we were... Are they playing? No, they're warming up. Okay. Uh, Coffee did play Kath, and uh, Coffee lost. Coffee's playing Sheik today. Against Kath as well? Yeah. Wow. That's, that's what happened. So this I play bracket now. Tish Lord. How's your game against Tish Lord? Seeing Swagman at Phantom might have been the greatest day of my life. Thank you, Big Card. That was a, that was a good time. Everyone yeah, but to you it was just a weekend. <laughs> yeah, to me, that was just another weekend. However, the same fateful day I met Mango, and uh, let's just say, uh, okay, so Yetter and Lax were playing. Were you at Phantom? Not the last one. Okay, you went no, at 2022. So I wasn't, no. Yetter and Lax there. played on stream, and the winner had to play Mango. So yeah, that's right. They were both really gunning to win it. Yeah. And Lax just barely squeezed out a victory, and I was cheering. I was like, yeah! F you, Yetta, let's go. Because uh, I was a Queenslander at the time. Of course. So, you know, you got to love Lax. He's a Queensland rep. He's quite sad. I love Lax. Did you see that there's a floating point, like, state crew battle? Who the fuck's going to be in the Queensland crew battle? Like, it's the, uh, I didn't know that, that was Ethan? happening. Ethan. <laughs> Rizarro Flame. Rainbow Calx. Oh, here we go, actually. We're actually starting a battle. Here. Yippee. All right. So, yeah, Coffee Rex on Sheik today. And Caleb Rock and Falcon. Oh, Syndicus, you were at Macca's? Okay, we met. Uh, how's the audio, folks? Do I need to turn the microphones up or down? Let me know. I think it's alright at the moment. I think, I think right. he's, and here's what Caleb's going to be doing, I think, because this is the Captain Falcon secret to this matchup. This tell me. Tell me the secret rule. sauce. Because, as we all know, I'm a, a man who plays by the rules of the game and I don't do anything Of course, so. yes. So, yes. whenever, anytime you're out of, uh, like, a roll option or a get up or anything, pretty much anything, whenever you're in disadvantage or at any moment, just hold down. She runs up, dash tax you, you go nowhere, you punish her. Yeah. yeah. That's it. That's the whole matchup. I've solved it. Also, don't uh, jump across the stage randomly with an aerial, which I do a lot in every matchup, but I've noticed that in this matchup, I get very, very punished for it. She just throws out like a little forward tilt. Uh, what's the up up tilt? Where she goes like up and then... Yeah, yeah, the two hit. The yeah, two hit. Yeah. Disgusting character, really. She can kind of just hold you down from wherever she wants on stage. Oh my god. Speaking of, shout out to Hayes at, Hayes at Maccas. I know you know. I know the story. What's the Bushi revision in Lax this year? I, I do know the story, I think. Um, about like, yeah, some like, someone trying to like start some violence. What? Uh, oh! I was almost there for that. I just missed that. Yeah. That well, was crazy. And uh, poor Benji. Yeah, speaking of which, this is what I wanted to bring up, right? Is like, <laughs> Benji said he would come. Benji said, he, oh, he, oh, he's like, Tish Lord's coming. I might be yeah. able to show up. Okay. I'm like so shaking my head. Tish Lord showed up. No Benji. No and not, Benji. Only, not only no Benji, Rain was like, I could make it. I could come. No, yeah. ma no Rain. No and Rain. And then uh, Davox. I just, I, I don't believe Davox is a real person. I know I've met him and talked to him, but he shows up so infrequent. I'm, I'm writing it off as like a, what's the word when, a, when something is so... It's like a, a statistic that is so unlikely that it's negligible. Yeah, an outlier. Yeah, his existence is negligible. It's an outlier. You could pretty much... It's Spider's George. He's, mm. he's Spider's George. Of course, we all know John Spider's George. Do you know Spider's George? Is that, a, is that from the new Spider-Man? No, no, it's a it's an old Tumblr copy buster. Oh, I'm only... I'm 15 years old, so I don't know what Tumblr well, is. You've changed your fucking age every time we've asked you this. <laughs> How old are you actually? What year were you born? <laughs> What year, you, what, were, what year were you born? You gotta, you gotta check my ID. What year were you born? Yeah, I'm carding you right you now. You should do like a... You know how like Ledger Suit Larry would ask you questions <laughs> yeah. to like age check you? You should, you should ask me questions that I would know at certain ages. Okay. I'll answer them as honestly as I can. You're trying to make me play Super Seducer just to find out your age? Is that what happens in Super Seducer? I'm too young. I'm too old to play that game. <laughs> Did you okay. see what Yosh said, by the way, would be in the, the Queensland crew for the... Because Floating Point has state crews. Yeah. No, I didn't, know. He <laughs> just, they, they, uh, they, they stated a, a few top players from Queensland, like Batsavushi, mm -hmm. Ravishna, yep. and Lax. That's three of them. I think there's four people per crew, but I don't think Queensland had enough players. So you want to put in a Luigi then, obviously. Oh, like, Barrett! No, he's yeah. not going to Fighting Point. Ah, uh, boo. Are you, oh, no, you're not going. Out of the people who so, are going, no. I think the, he's a South Australia crew in my mind, right? McLeod? Yeah. I don't know who else is going. Like Caleb? Caleb's going. If Davox is going, oh, he, should well, do, he should be on Davox, Davox. I don't know anybody else who's going there. Like, we have, like... 
like, there's a part of me that wishes, like, I was going, but, like, I know that part is just FOMO, right? Yep, yep. That part is just like, oh, well, what, what happens if, like, I could have gone and made, like, a cool run or whatever, but it's just like... Dude, I know I'm just gonna be like salty, dude. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> I'm not paying $400 just to get mad at a video game. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, you can do that for free. I can do that for fucking. Well, you know, it's it's a cost it anyway. You look at it, but like, fuck, I ain't flying to Sydney for that. I like to down tilt. <laughs> what is this guy? I'm not reading chat, but don't read chat. Yeah, don't I think Yosh was saying something about an IRL matchup versus Chibe. Yosh, like. Boxing or fighting? Yeah, I think so. Yosh, I think you're probably a lot taller, which means you probably have a lot more arms span. Uh, so I'm going for Yosh. That's it. That's all I have to say. Yosh kind of scrawny though. Yeah, I but aren't we all a little? In, that's uh, I mean, no, I'm, play. So I'm, I'm built. Huge. I'm you don't think? So what? You think Chibe is some kind of inch staunch? No, Chibe is not bruiser. staunch. No, he's tiny. So then, <laughs> so then, how does this? This is like it's like junior featherweight bracket. <laughs> that's <laughs> you know, oh my like. Goodness. Like, I think Chibe is a grown man. He's like 18, isn't he not? So it'd be like Chibe's quite young. I'm pretty sure. Like I don't. I, I'm pretty sure Chibe Chib might still be a minor. Okay. Well, in that case, they both are. So it's not that weird. Too. Yeah. Well, I think Yosh is older. I believe. Chibe is my age. Says Yosh. Sorry. Yeah. There you go. By the way, uh, Coffee yeah, Rex. I, I kind of getting. Should, I think you should switch to uh, to Sheik. Also, the overlay has. Did you just notice that? Yeah. Just put the sheik in there for him. Are you control S to save it? Mm -hmm. I've been hitting the save, the big uh, floppy disk every time. Yosh is older by two weeks, so I'm actually right. <laughs> oh shit. Let's go. No, they're not older than Melee. They're no literally younger than Melee. No one who plays Melee is older than me. I am. I'm 28. <laughs> Dead serious. Yeah, I don't believe that for a second. You I'm born in 94. Christ. Yeah, it's fucked up. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> yeah, what's, what's up with that? What, 94? Yeah, born in 94. October, uh, October 6th, 1994. So you were 10 years old when uh, College Dropout came out. Did you listen to it? Not when it came out. Okay, so you're a, so you're a fake fan. Uh, no, yeah, I'm not going to say I'm a Kanye fan. <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm a Kanye fan. Uh, I'm going to say he has some good albums. <laughs> and I think College Dropout is one of those good albums. That's true. I would say it's, yeah, up there. This is only game two though, right? I'm not yes, tripping, hey. Yes. We haven't missed a game. We, we haven't missed a game. We're, we're not paying a lot of attention. I would be more enraptured if Covey was in sandbagging. Have you noticed this? Oh, let's go. Actually, that was a sick back air into fair. Do you count this as sandbagging? I count this as sandbagging. It is how, how you, you would uh, say how do you think, uh, ego protection. Right. Because I know that Covey hasn't been playing. And so he's it is playing a character that he feels is more... You know, That's why I love coming to these events. Like yes. able to do the, get the job done for him. I get you. Oh, now this is just sandbagging. <laughs> this is well. I'm, I the only person who sandbags is actually Davin, and he never tries to win. Kappa. Well, um. Uh, I don't have any making my work cut out for me. I have to update the overlay three times. This is why I don't like. Uh, this is sorry. This is why I like coming to these events is because I don't have any ego to protect. I can just play the game. And that's how you should keep it. Oh, but when it comes to being a beatdown, that's when I go Bowser and get the This is kind of a crazy matchup, though. I do think that, yes, it is true that Caleb eats marks for breakfast. We don't have enough marks. There's no marks here. I hate it. I hate it so much. We had Zake for like three weeks. Rest in peace, Zake. Ah, uh, yeah. Because I love this matchup. This is one of my best matchups. Um, I love playing Marth, too. It's so fun. As Taco, it's like, wow. it's so footsies. It's so footsies. It's like playing... Don't say Street Fighter. No, it's not. It's no. It's it's like playing Marvel Three. Ah, oh, I should have known. <laughs> yeah. It's easy. Did you see the new Mortal Kombat game? Yeah, it looks like shit. <laughs> yeah, like graphically, okay. But is that what you care about in games? I, I don't give a fuck about Mortal you don't, Kombat. Okay, wow. I just think it's a shit system. What about cameos though? Like in more MK so, game? Okay, so he, I don't care. No, no, no. Hear me out. So there's this thing called uh, a cameo with a K. So basically, you choose a fighter, and then you choose a secondary fighter that like, kind of comes in and does assists. It's like this new thing they're trying out. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I saw it. So I like, just don't remember what it was called. I just saw that there was assists. Well, well uh, yeah, just imagine like a fighting game, like a traditional fighter, but like as well as you can choose like a second guy that like comes in and like throws like objects and like helps you out. Isn't that kind of cool? I think more games should do that. Yeah, there's a game called Marvel 3 that does that. Is it like uh, the movies? Yes. No. I came ever... out before the cinematic universe. Okay. Would you believe that? 
is uh yeah. like like are we talking are we talking like pre the Wolverine like X Men Origins Wolverine? Cause that's a Marvel movie technically. Yeah, it came out before then. I'm pretty sure. Jesus. Um, no, and also, there's a King of Fighters game where, you, um, so you, you know, in otherwise known as Koth. Oh, yeah, you know in Koth how you you have to play three characters, right? And like when one goes down, the next one comes in. Oh, this is the edge like, and it's like a it's like a round start situation. You know not what? I I love that. You know what? Uh, anyway, I wanted to just quickly bring up the fact that there's one KOF where you can get the person next in line to give you a strike or assist. Oh. Yeah, that's so kind of there's one KOF that lets you do that. That kind of sounds like the new Mortal Kombat game. Maybe yeah. you're taking hints from so, very similar. Nether Realm. Very similar. Dude, that game came out in the 90s. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like when you came out? Yeah. Well, oh, I when you were born. <laughs> well, I came out of my mother's womb in the 90s, yeah, I but I didn't graphic. come out until the fucking 2020s. Really? Yeah. So you were like, what, 29? No. <laughs> I just said I was 28. No, I was like 27-ish? That's pretty 27, old. 27, 26? That's yeah. pretty old. I'm still waiting. Crazy. Hey, me too. Um, what I will say though is that I think Puffy Rex has sort of still more of a chance to. Eat I actually it, like think this is looking a little bit better than the Shakes, weirdly enough. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It's like he seems to have more. Oh, of a chance that for some dare reason. was so bad. Little bro thinks he's Ethan. Are you an Ethan fan at all? Did you miss that beginner beatdown era? I did. I wasn't playing because I was I just I've obsessed with Tarkov. Oh, Oos. Wow, um, beefy. Uh, I think it's me and Kath next. I think that means. Uh, Caleb is. goes above Coffee Rex on the next uh, PR. Yeah, yeah, I think so. That's too. how yeah, it yeah, works. Yeah, definitely. All right, so it's me and Catherine. K versus K action. 